All right. Thank you, everyone, for, uh, for, for joining the webinar today. My name is Paul Whitehead. Uh, I'm a senior sales executive here at Cvent. Um, I've been here for about five years, helping um, put in place uh, uh, dozens of different event, uh, event management programs. Um, and uh, uh, today we're going to walk you through the attendee hub to show you what that can do for your program. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Um, and as we go through, feel free to, to post any questions or comments in the chat and we will, uh, we will respond to those. But a little bit more about me, you should be able to see uh, um, a very old headshot here off to the side, along with really what your, your sales rep does for you um, here at Cvent. So um, uh, if you, uh, after this, have any other questions or uh, want clarification or just want to hear strategy or feedback from anybody, please fill out that survey and, and reach out to your rep so that way they can uh, they can provide these things to you. But moving on from there, programs today now actually have multiple facets to engage with attendees on. And, and really what this does is it, it provides a longer, richer, and I, I think most importantly, a, a more measurable conversation with your attendees. Um, you're engaging with your attendees before, during, and after the event um, in multiple different ways, whether it be digitally or in person. Um, this extended time of engagement uh, also leads to, to a deeper conversation that, that leads to uh, uh, closer partnerships with those attendees. And uh, that's done through um, a mix of the virtual, hybrid, and in-person, um, and uh, ultimately leads to better data because all, all along the way, you're capturing those data points and uh, they're now accessible to you and your team so that you get to know your attendees more intimately. So moving into the attendee hub itself, um, really there's two pieces to a single platform here. That is the event app and the web version. Um, the event app obviously is where you're engaging with attendees during the event in person and the web actually allows for you to engage with an even larger audience of attendees virtually. To provide an example for our user conference Cvent Connect every year, we expect anywhere from three to 4,000 people in person. But now we're also engaging with 10,000 plus additional customers virtually. That's 10,000 more conversations that we're able to have and, and 10,000 you know, to whatever exponent that might be of data points that we're able to engage with and learn more about our attendees with. So um, these two these two platforms obviously overlap at you know about 90% feature matches across them um, with obviously the, the event app, including things like the map um, so that people know where they're going and then the web version, including um, uh, multiple things like the video discussions, instant networking to allow for deeper engagement for the people that are attending virtually because I think we've all seen quite a bit of burnout with virtual events. Um, and so we've invested in making sure that um, this platform that really isn't going away, virtual is here to stay. Um, to, we've invested in making sure that, you know, that engagement, it really is engaging and it's not just a uh, one way conversation of you to your, you to your attendees. So the attendee hub event app is what we'll cover first. Um, this holds all of your event information in the palm of your hands. Um, event apps aren't just a nice to have because they make the event look good. They're, they're actually one of the most powerful tools you have to engage with your clients and uh, one of the most powerful tools you have to, to report on because all of the actions, all of the engagement happens within that app. And uh, now it isn't just a matter of, yeah, they liked the app or no, they didn't like the app. Now it's a matter of what were they engaged with? Who were they engaging with while they were at this event? Um, it provides them a single source of truth while they're on site at the event to lead to a better event experience. And it leads, uh, leads to a, a wealth of data for you and your team to understand what worked, what didn't work, and um, what are they interested in? Um, what, uh, uh, what future conversations do we want to have with these attendees? So um, the event app isn't, like I said, a nice to have. It is an absolute necessity, um, especially in the year 2023 for events. And uh, what it really plays into is the, the larger attendee journey. Um, you know, the ability to, to come on site and check in and know they attended is obviously extremely valuable, but there's so many more touch points along the way that you can, you can have access to. So before the event, when they are engaging with the content, figuring out their schedule, um, and even engaging with other attendees before the event, 
uh, leading into during the event. Obviously, they're using the event on or the event app on site and uh, engaging with the content and with each other while they are there. But after that, you're also having access to all of uh, all of the data and content that uh, um, that goes on post event. So um, you're giving them access to pre-recorded or or post event recorded sessions, and you're able to track that along the way and understand um, you know what what really is resonating. What did people come back? and want to see more of or come back and want to dive deeper on. And so what that really does is, is it gives you the full view of that attendee journey before, during, and after the event. And what that leads to, leads to is a deeper attendee experience and a deeper connection between you and those, uh, those attendees. Um, they leave the event happier and more well-informed on whatever the content they were there for was. And then you leave the event uh, better understanding what they're truly looking for, um, better understanding what interests them, what are their challenges, what are they facing, and uh, what are you doing that is making them want to come to these events or attend your events. And uh, one of the, frankly, what I believe is one of the, the most important parts of our platform is the ability to monetize and uh, drive sponsorship dollars through through the app. Uh, many of my clients personally offset the lion's share or the entire cost of, of their, their technology budget um, simply through leveraging uh, the sponsorship capabilities that we have within the platform. Um, they're able to uh, drive more revenue, drive more exhibitors that are, uh, that are looking to attend, and then turn around and provide those exhibitors with valuable data, uh, turning non exhibitors Exhibitors into exhibitors, and then, for example, a bronze exhibitor now wants to invest in gold or silver packages uh, because you were able to provide them with actionable data on their end. And we, you know, much to uh, much to what I've just said, uh, the ability to to show them that ROI will be uh, will be invaluable for your program moving forward. Now more than ever, building uh, building a community within your events is extremely important. We went through a couple of years where we were not able to, to engage with each other in person and it was all virtual. Now we're gonna be able to engage with each other in person and virtually, keeping that conversation open for longer periods of time and, and leading to deeper conversations between attendees and, uh, and planners or marketers. And what that leads to is higher attendee satisfaction. People leave your events now um, with more useful information, with better connections with new friends and new colleagues that they're able to, to engage with well after the event's over. And what this leads to is not just that great data, but a great experience and um, more engagement in all of your events moving forward. And what I feel like is also an extremely point, important point is after executing on a great event, it seems like the next one is just a few days away that you have to execute on. And so one of the biggest focuses that I have whenever I'm working with my clients is making sure that we're setting this up to be a sustainable and easy to repeat event. Uh, being able to you know, carbon copy that over and uh, able to uh, uh, quickly scale up your events to make the event planning and management process easier and keeping the experience uh, uh, streamlined and, and consistent across all of your events. Um, every brand has its own voice when speaking with their attendees, and you want to make sure that, that that voice is maintained and consistent across all events, whether they be virtual, in-person, or hybrid. And what's the point of technology if it makes life harder, right? Um, one of the biggest focuses that we have here at CVEN is making sure that we're not just another piece of tech, we're, we're part of your tech stack. Um, your MarTech, your CRM, your marketing automation tools, all of this is critical to your business functions. And um, it defeats the purpose of buying technology if, if those things aren't integrating into your systems. And so we, uh, we invest heavily in uh, out-of-the-box integrations along with a, an extremely robust CR, or excuse me, uh, API system. So we have multiple different ways to sign into to things like Salesforce or HubSpot or Eloqua or Concur. Um, and we also have the ability to make custom integrations with your other business technologies. So in summation, there's a few key benefits that we like to focus on here. Um, 
the ability to inform or to get content out, um, bringing value to your exhibitors and, and giving them those ROI numbers that they so, you know, so desperately want. And that's why they're investing in you. Uh, building a community with your attendees and creating tighter connections uh, with them among each other and with you and your team. Um, and then leading them into to greater satisfaction. So they keep coming back to your events and they keep engaging with the other content that you put out and, uh, and speak to them about. And then on top of that, making those other four points easy to repeat and easy to report on. So those are the, the what I would consider to be the highest key benefits for the attendee of platform. And again, what is, what is the point of having events if you can't invite and include as many people as possible? Um, CVEN has invested uh, heavily into making our events more inclusive across the board um, with things like video captioning, subtitles, multiple language abilities. Um, these are these are key factors when trying to speak to a larger and larger audience, which the virtual world provides. Um, but we need to be able to have those conversations with them. And CVEN understands that and we've been investing in that. And now um, I will pass the mic over uh, to my partner in crime, Polo Razo. Um, Paul is an experienced solutions consultant here at Cvent who uh, is going to take you through a live demonstration of the attendee hub platform. Um, we will be available for uh, questions and comments and all of that after uh, after he's done presenting. So thank you for giving me some of your time and, and looking forward to talking with you all more. All right. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate the introduction there. So what I'll be taking us through today is Cvent's attendee hub from both a mobile app from a, both a native mobile app as well as a web or a desktop platform. So I've got the web or desktop platform pulled up here. And most typically how we see attendees getting access to this is through some sort of email communication through Cvent. So whether that's a confirmation email, a know before you go email, some sort of reminder email, it's really as simple as just sharing a web link for attendees to then get access uh, to the actual attendee hub, whether it's uh, a web link to the virtual platform, the desktop platform, or the actual native mobile app itself. When attendees arrive into Attendee Hub, they're greeted with what we would like to call like the virtual event lobby. In here, you can highlight things such as resources, areas to navigate to, if you wanna highlight specific sponsors um, or navigation icons here within the banner, uh, functionality, you'll be able to direct attendees to important areas of your specific event. On this home screen, you can also have attendees navigate to their specific schedule, send out push notifications, as well as review and make edits to their profile within, uh, within Attendee Hub itself. I'm going to talk to a few solutions um, or a few features that are specific to the web platform of Attendee Hub, just to give us a visualization of what those features look like on the web platform. Uh, and then we'll transition to the mobile app side of things. In terms of session viewing experience, attendees are gonna be able to absorb content directly through the attendee hub, whether you're hosting uh, a fully virtual event, a hybrid event, um, or some sort of simulive or pre-recorded content within the attendee hub, we'll be able to support those viewing experiences. So within here, you can have an embedded viewing experience for your attendees. Let's say they're watching a webinar experience. They'll be able to see different speakers. They can see a branded background as well as name tags that will follow along with those speakers. Included in the attendee hub is your engagement panel here on the right-hand side. So features such as chat, Q&A, polling, surveys are all planner set and up to you to enable on a per event or a per session basis. All of these features do have moderator capabilities. So if you're looking to moderate your chat, facilitate a live Q&A, or maybe even have your attendees participate in live polling within this experience, you'll be able to have attendees engage throughout your entire session. In terms of other viewing experiences, attendees can also watch pre-recorded content. So if you're looking to host a Simulive session and transition to a live Q&A, that can be facilitated through here. And in addition to that, we can also have collaborative sessions in which attendees and speakers can have a two-way interactive uh, session within the attendee hub. From an interactive session, attendees will also be able to 
join from the attendee hub and actually participate in a two-way communication in which they can raise their hand, ask to be brought on stage, and they'd be able to ask their question um, live on stage, for example. So here you can see an attendee unmuting themselves, turning on their camera, and participating in that live interactive session on the stage. So those were just a few features on the web or desktop version of the attendee hub that I wanted to highlight. Now I just wanted to transition over to the native mobile app that comes included with attendee hub. Here you'll see a similar experience on the home screen with fully branded uh, title of the event, logo across the top, as well as included banner functionality. So same idea, your attendees can have a similar experience in a hybrid scenario where they're accessing uh, sponsor information, they're accessing quick links to custom pages that you may have built out, as well as just other resources that you're making available in your app experience here. In terms of other key pieces to highlight on the events app, you've got a custom navigation bar in which you can point attendees to certain areas of the app. So whether that's a custom page that you create to highlight event FAQs, or if you wanted to highlight, let's say your attendee list, your speaker information, as well as exhibitors within here, uh, attendees are gonna have quick and easy access to those certain components of your event. In the larger section of the home screen, what you're seeing in these squares are what we call cards. These cards can link to external links, such as uh, a company website, or maybe even resources that you wanna host on external sites. As attendees interact with those links on the home screen, it keeps them in the attendee hub, attendee hub event app experience and does not take them out into their mobile browser. This, these cards are fully customizable in terms of uh, when you want to lay out different content. So if it's important for you to showcase your sponsors at the beginning of the event, or if you want to showcase a welcome video, you can actually go ahead and pre-schedule how you want certain content to be displayed at different times of your event. One important feature that I always like to highlight from a native mobile app perspective is the ability to, ability to have and showcase a floor plan or a venue map. Um, really useful for attendees to be able to navigate to certain areas of the event. And it's super easy to just configure, drag and drop certain pins and highlight certain hotspots or locations uh, within your overall event here. You do have the functionality to include multiple floor plans. So if it's important for you to highlight a venue map, as well as let's say a trade show or an exhibitor floor plan, you would be able to highlight those key components, as well as link to those native uh, exhibitor profiles in the event app itself. So just navigating here across the bottom, wanted to highlight the schedule component. This is where attendees are gonna be able to view the entire agenda, as well as the personalized schedules they may have built during uh, the registration component or even added in in the attendee hub. Within here, they'll be able to see a day-by-day -day breakdown of certain content that they have lined up and sessions that they are uh, planning to attend. And then same idea with the web version. Within each session here, I'll be able to engage in uh, specific content. So whether it's live Q&A, polling, surveys, as well as actually viewing session documents can all be facilitated here through the session level in the, in the event app. So just to give you some quick visuals, you can still see live Q&A, simple attendee experience. Uh, they can go in, ask a question, and then you all as the uh, planners can moderate those Q&As, uh, polling, as well as surveys that are included with this experience here. Paul touched on this a little bit earlier, but really uh, one of the major key components that we wanted to highlight within the events app is the ability to build a community within your event. So whether it's showcasing attendee list, suggesting other attendees to network with, send messages uh, across with, um, as well as scheduling appointments, this community section within the event app is going to empower you and your attendees to start to build those connections. So whether you want to highlight an activity feed where attendees can post photos, like each other's posts, sort of like a social engagement platform, that's something that's native and available to you in the event app itself as well as just suggesting other attendees to network with. Uh, we do use a AI algorithm in terms of suggesting uh, attendees that have similar interests, attendees that are signed up for similar sessions, uh, and this will facilitate, hey, maybe I should schedule an appointment. Maybe I should send a quick message to this other attendee. 
all within the event app experience itself. Moving across the bottom here, just want to highlight a few other key components. Push notifications are always going to be important whenever you're utilizing a mobile app. So within Attendee Hub's event app, you'll be able to quickly group, organize, and schedule in advance push notifications to your attendees. So if you need to alert everyone, hey, make sure to come to the reception or the luncheon that's taking place in, in 15 minutes, you can target those specific groups of individuals, send out that blast notification, and you know get them notified of that information. Another really great use case for these notifications is the ability to just drive value to those sponsors. So if you want an, or, or exhibitors, so if you want to navigate or push attendees to view those sponsor and exhibitor profiles, um, or even take those surveys, for example, push notifications would be a powerful way to get those messages across to your attendees. And then the last section here on the events app is just the more section. So if you're looking to organize all of your event information into specific categories, uh, such as how is displayed here with hotel and venue information, event information, you'll have full flexibility and customization in terms of organizing these custom pages, listing them out for attendees to navigate to uh, and be able to view that important information within the event app experience. So overall, all of these engagement points, whether it is participating in Q&A, participating in polling, engaging with exhibitors, these are all tracked and measurable within CVENTS reporting and analytics. So being able to provide those data points back to your exhibitors, hey, who's clicked on what content within my profile? Or getting that information back to your marketing, marketing team, hey, who's been our most engaged attendees um, and attendees that we should follow up with? All that information is accessible to you through CVENTS uh, Event Hub, uh, sorry, through CVENTS Attendee Hub Event app. So there's a number of different features to show on the event app. Um, so if you have any additional questions or follow-up, please reach out to your sales rep and we can be sure to schedule a more detailed demonstration. Uh, so just wanted to kick it back to Paul to wrap us up here. And we'll move now to uh, the live Q&A with any, any uh, uh, opening questions. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, we appreciate you attending the, the presentation today, as I'm sure you're gathering now. Um, that was a pre-recorded presentation, uh, but Polo and I are both live uh, now to answer Q&A. Um, before we dive in, um, we just wanted to let everyone know if uh, you'd like to earn a $100 Amazon gift card, um, fill out the, uh, the gifting form uh, that will be shared below. And um, uh, just a shout out to all of our, our non-US folks, the $100 gift card, if you, uh, you fill that out and you uh, uh, attend the demo, that can also be converted to your local currency. So just wanted to call that out. And um, so thank you to everyone. Uh, and then Polo, do you wanna take away with the, the first question? Yep, sounds good. We can hop into the live Q&A now. Thanks, Paul. So first question we're gonna tackle here is, are there QR code based games in gamification? Um, so for those that have not recently used the event app, this is now actually available. This was a long time coming feature. Um, we now have QR code based games built into the Attendee Hub event app. So anything from a scavenger hunt type of functionality to scanning in, um, to specific exhibitor booths, for example, attendees are gonna be able to scan those QR codes as well as enter in a manual code to then earn those points uh, based on those actions and gamification. So very recent release, super excited about it and uh, be sure to you know, contact your C-Event resources to make sure you guys can access that. Awesome. Next question we have here is, how can we best spotlight our sponsors in the app? I'll take this one. Um, there's a number of different ways here. One of them being typically what we see clients do is on that initial splash screen that I showed on the demo. Um, that's just a simple graphic where you can add in a sponsor logo. There's also a number of other different areas. Typically what we see is in that custom banner functionality, you can actually start to build in sponsor logos, direct them to certain tiers or um, sponsorship levels within the app. And then you also have the use of the custom cards on the home screen. So being able to link to a featured exhibitor or sponsor. Um, and those go directly to the sponsor and exhibitor profiles that you have created within the event app itself. So displays all of that information, uh, content from those sponsors and exhibitors to give them a good visibility. 
Cool. Next question here is how personalized can you get with the agenda? Paul, I think you want to take this one. Yeah, yeah. So um, very much so. Uh, so uh, leveraging the uh, the filtering tool, whether you're, you're filling out your agenda for the first time or, or just looking through it, um, you'll be able to um, you know, look at things both from a, you know, what is my standard agenda view and then um, building out your own agenda. So uh, when you go through the registration process, all of that information uh, feeds directly from the registration over into each person's agenda. So uh, the, the other side of that coin is that you have ultimate control over that. So for example, if you want to make certain sessions mandatory, um, you can make it that way. If you decide that you want each person to have a specific track or a specific built out agenda, you can do that as well. And speaking to the tracks, um, for example, if you have a, a marketing track or an HR track, um, you can have those either suggested or required sessions um, within the agenda of everyone who fits into that track. So um, there's a lot of ways that you can mix and match it. And so um, when you're talking with with your reps, just make sure you bring that up uh, because you've got quite a few options. Absolutely. Next question we have here is, are you able to pull reports on actions taken by attendees in the app? Paul? Yeah, I can take, I can take that one also. Um, with regards to reports, uh, absolutely. Um, so that's, a, I mean, really one of my favorite parts about this is because you can, you can zero in on maybe one specific attendee, a VIP, and see what were they, um, you know, what were they engaged with within the app. Um, or you can zoom out and look across all of your events and see what kinds of trends you might be seeing as far as what was high engagement, what was of interest versus maybe things that didn't really get clicked on. Um, and uh, you know, I, I'd say my final point, we had a question about sponsors and exhibitors. I'd say another value is that, um, for example, if, if you have very popular sponsors or exhibitors or maybe sponsors or exhibitors who are wondering if they got any value out of your event, you can actually pull the data on how engaged were your attendees with those sponsors and exhibitors because if someone's a, a bronze package every year, but you're able to pull the data showing that people were highly engaged and they got a lot of good leads by being sponsors at a, your event, you can now go to them with the data to say that, hey, maybe you should move up to a silver or gold package because our attendees really like your stuff. So um, short answer there is that, you know, absolutely, you'll be able to report on all of those actions within the app. So next question here, in addition to managing sessions, are you able to manage appointments as well um, and meetings with the app? Yeah, yeah, so um, you absolutely can. It's, it's a one-stop shop. And also you wanna keep people's, uh, pe people's attention, right? You don't want them bouncing into a couple different things. So all of those meetings and appointments can be, can be uh, tracked within the app. Um, it's a single, you know, single source of truth for your attendees and, and it simplifies the process. So um, that is an extremely common use case is just managing all of those appointments because you know, at a one day or three day or, or however long your conference is, being able to, to understand what's coming up, whether it be you know, in 30 minutes or, or at the end of the conference, um, you'll, all, you'll be able to manage all of that in one place. Great. Next question here, on average, how much time does it take to build out the attendee hub experience? A little bit of a loaded one. I think both Paul and I will tackle it, um, but this can really vary. It really depends on the complexity of your event, the style of your event, um, and then whether or not you guys are looking to do this in a DIY experience, which is definitely possible. There's a full onboarding and training process, um, but C event can also provide professional services for us to build it out for you. Um, those typical lead times can, you know, can range from what Paul two to maybe five weeks, depending on our build services. Um, so definitely something to talk about with your account manager if you guys are interested in, in on those uh, in those details. Yeah, yeah. Just to add to that, I, I, I've seen folks spin up you know fairly complex events in in a day, right? Um, but it's a matter of of you know what kind of resources you can throw at it. So um, you know we always recommend to to leverage our guided or, or our self guided trainings. But we also have a ton of resources that we can throw at it as well, whether it be trainings or things like templates um, or uh, us just flat out building the event for you like Polo, uh, like Polo spoke to. Um, I'd say my personal preference is I love having templates because you build out um, an event once um, and let's say you, know, you have that event a couple times a year, just maybe with slightly different information. I love templates because you've now built 95% of the infrastructure um, and you just need to make a few tweaks. But um, 
I'd say the other advantage is, is that if you leverage our registration, they're also building out a big chunk of the uh, of the app just because they speak to each other. They're built on top of each other. All of that branding, all of that that information just flows right into it. So um, CVEN's meant to be self-guided, but we've also got the manpower to, to, to come in and either help or, or manage the entire thing for you. So um, that's a good question to, to talk with your team about um, and then also talk with ours and, and see what, you know, see what recommendations and, and what works best for you. Absolutely. So next question here, are reports available to be pulled for discussions in the app? Um, so we do have a, and I'll handle this one. Um, we do have an attendee hub usage dashboard report, which will show you the number of discussion participants um, that are taking place or that have participated in discussion specifically. Um, we do have some backend reports uh, in order to pull discussion transcripts, if that's what you're inquiring about. Those might be a little bit more involved, so be sure to loop in your Cvent resources and they can help you get that sorted um, in terms of pulling those reports. Great. Good question so far, guys. Just got a lot more coming in here. Um, next question up here, would you recommend having a link or page in the registration site that takes you to the attendee hub? Yeah, absolutely. I would say probably most common best practice, you know, linking from a confirmation page, maybe even a confirmation email um, that gives them that direct link to the attendee hub. We actually have a uh, something called a magic link, which can bypass that login process and make that an even smoother experience. Um, that's going to have to be distributed through the email. But if you just wanted to have a you know, kind of like standalone link to link attendees to download the app. That's also perfectly acceptable there. Great. Next question from Beverly. When Reg is set up as build your own agenda, they would only see what their agenda is, correct? Um, so that is, in this scenario, if you are allowing for attendees to build their own agenda, they're going to see two options. They're going to see a My Schedule tab on the Schedule component, and then they're also going to see an All Sessions tab. All Sessions is what's going to allow them to browse, pick and choose what they want to add onto their agenda, and then that's populating onto My Schedule. If you are simply just importing the details for the attendees, you want everyone to have a personalized agenda and not have them build that out, you can import those via sessions um, onto their personalized schedules, and that will all pull into that My Schedule component there. Perfect. Next question from Joanne. Are there any plans to add an event feed function to the app? We'd love to have a way for attendees to engage at in-person events by uploading photos and comments. Well, you are in luck. This is already available today, um, and this is our discussions feature. So I think I touched on it very briefly during the uh, the demo there, but discussions is what the feature is called. It, that's exactly what it's used for. People or clients will utilize it for um, activity feeds, more of a social element, and it allows for attendees to upload photos at in-person events, um, like and comment on other people's posts as well. So that's something that's already available today. Great. Next question here, can attendees create one-on-one -on -one meetings with each other without turning on that attendee matchmaking? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this one-on-one -on -one meetings feature is actually called our appointments premium solution. Um, it is something that you can utilize within the events app and that's what allows you to look at the attendee list, hey, um, you know, schedule a, a meeting, say I'm browsing the list, I see Paul's on there, I wanna meet one-on-one -on -one with Paul. I can go ahead, send that appointment invitation he can receive it and accept it directly through the app experience. Going rapid fire here, guys. Next question is, do you have to have a premium survey license to use session surveys in Attendee Hub? So you actually don't. Um, what basic surveys is what comes included with an Attendee Hub license. And Paul, feel free to you know, kind of chime in here with any contractual question, um, comments there. but. With basic surveys, you'll have access to a session level um, survey template, which just means it's going to be the same questions for every single survey. Now, if you need personalized questions on every session that you have in Attendee Hub, 
that's where premium surveys um, is going to be a requirement, the ability to customize questions on a per uh, session basis there for surveys. Yeah, absolutely. And and also when, when you're speaking with your rep, we, we have a great piece of collateral that, that gives you a checklist between, hey, what's included with basic and what's included with premium. So for example, some of the premium options um, include uh, um, essentially uh, uh, assessments, um, deeper reporting, um, being able to have a you know have a survey that isn't even tied to an event um so a lot of different options there it's a long checklist that i won't bore you with right now but that's readily available and so just ask your rep for that what that comparison checklist looks like so you can get a full breakdown of is premium uh what i need or is, does basic work for me awesome I think last question that we have in here. Um, so we seem to have challenges getting the live preview to work. It just circles. What might be the reason? Tough to say uh, kind of without getting directly into your account here. Um, definitely loop in your Cvent resource if possible or, or contact our support team. They'll be able to troubleshoot there right there and then on the spot with that live display link. Um, typical ones I can think of off the top of my head, maybe just the wrong session code uh, for that live display or for that specific poll or, or Q&A piece. Um, but our support team will definitely be able to help troubleshoot you guys live on the phone and on the computer as well. Awesome. I think that is all the questions for now. Um, we'll stick around for a few minutes here if you guys wanted to um, ask any additional ones. Otherwise, we'll close out in just a few minutes here. All right, I think we're we're uh, we're good to go here. Um, oh, do we get one more question? I spoke too soon. Looks like we did get one more. All right, so are you able to restrict and control room capacity in different sessions? I.e., session A will cap at forty people only. Absolutely. Um, so that's just built-in uh, capacity control within C event. You'll be able to manage that in your um, on the back end of your session management. So setting capacities, um, and then depending on what you're using with Cvent, if it's the mobile app, or if you're even using our on-arrival tool as well to check in attendees on site, you can get that session control, um, sort of denying a, a person that might not already have access or pre-register. And you can also wait list people, so keep that in mind as well. So if there's a very popular session and you're worried that maybe it gets filled up but not everyone's going to attend, um, you, can, you can have a wait list there. So um, another another handy option in, in, as well. Absolutely. All right, I think we are uh, we're good to go there. Um, if you all have any other further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out um, either to to Polo and I directly. I believe they put our, our LinkedIn's in uh, in our pro, in the chat or um, to your various resources as well. Um, and don't forget to fill out the, uh, the gifting option. Perfect. Thanks, guys. All right, thank you, everybody.